morning. We are back early in the morning, and he is our mobile service technician. So actually, oh, I, I'm yeah. mobile to him. <laughs> so uh, going old school, uh, yes. <laughs> and we're gonna install this piece here. This is steering column co control co model. Control model. SCCM. S SCCM. Yep. So that probably would be pretty expensive, and uh, they're offering it used as well. I got it for seventy dollar, right? I got it for I ordered it for seventy dollar used, yes. and this piece broke off. You know, this is where the blinker is, and here is the cruise control uh, piece, and this broke off unfortunately, and we need to replace the whole piece. And this is what they switched, right? So remember that yeah, they had it, now they have it below, have it here, right? That's what they switched, and maybe this one is further there. I don't know. But they switched the whole thing. And okay, we have the old one, $70. We're gonna install it today. Okay, let's yeah. go. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. What we're looking for in early in the morning and the first thing is to release those two bolts here right yeah there are two bolts here yep. from there yeah, two uh, I think they're t30s t30s yeah yep. uh, and these T bolts need to be re uh, released so that the airbag can come off. Yeah. Here we go. So they are holding the airbag, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. A lot of people think that it's not enough for two screws to hold on to an airbag because of what an airbag does. It explodes. Yeah. <laughs> what you don't realize is the airbag is backed by the steering column yeah so the force the pressure of the force is actually going, going in the other direction in the other direction so all this really has to do is hold the airbag in place so it's not that bad okay I'll put it here in the middle that's fine yeah I'll fire by. and then all of this chrome comes out and there's little tabs in it yeah so you just gotta be careful with it Yeah, that was the first one, got loose. Okay, here we go. And then for the... In. Oops. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. Every once in a while. Alright, so <coughs> we have two connectors here. Uh, left side is going to be your horn and uh, steering control. Uh, steering wheel buttons mm -hmm. and the right side because it's bright yellow is the airbag Oh, that's the initiation for the airbag, right? Yeah, so um, We should in theory turn the car off uh, The uh, fireman's loop up front disables the high voltage battery contactors and the airbag system uh, So we would usually shut this all the way down Um being that the car's not actually on right now, we're just kind of in a standby mode. It's not actually, the airbag system isn't actually armed. Uh, it's been this way for a few minutes, so I think we'll be all right. Um, good rule of thumb, always hold an airbag from the backside, just in case. <laughs> I don't want to be holding it from the front and have your airbag go off. <laughs> so, uh, two tabs on each side of the connector. Pull that guy out. And pull that guy off. And pull this guy off. Just like okay. that. Now airbag is disabled. Yep, airbag yeah. is out. Um, still <coughs> always carry it from the back side because a shock can set off an airbag. Uh, and always set it down with the airbag facing up. That way you don't have a piece flying through the air if the airbag goes off. Oh, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got it already loose and there was a little pressure button here that you have to press and then you can take it out. Okay, and then? Leather has tabs on each side, uh -huh. but then there's three clips 
on the inside. I'll show you once we get them off. Yeah. Because they do tend to break. Not very thick plastic. Look at this, now we can install full safe driving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if only, if only. If only it would work, right? <laughs> yeah, if only it would work. Alright, so, yeah. uh, this connector, uh, again bright yellow because it does carry an airbag, um, also has a safety clip on it. The uh, safety clip is this little, this little black guy here. Um, mm -hmm. It's going to break. No way we can get it out of there without breaking it. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, that's the clip I was telling you about. That it, it's this is gonna break. Uh, I don't think Tesla has that part number separately. Um, arguable whether or not it needs to be there. I think it uh, had to be in for uh, safety purposes, just for the airbag, because uh, yeah. it does have its own latch. That's just a safety lock. And this is a latch and a safety lock. Correct. Two things, yes. right? Yeah. Yeah. We, we gotta break it. We have a latch still there. Yep. We are so, not in an airplane, right? You have triple safety. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's the guy. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll show you once we get it out. But there's two little, these two little divots right here. Mm -hmm. See the the plastic inside them that mm -hmm. has the two uh, looks like something else was attached there. And if you look down at the clip, you have two little black pieces still down in the clip. It's still stuck in there. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so this is a designed uh, piece. It, it is designed to break. Um, and it's it's more of an indicator to let you know that somebody's been in there. Which is unfortunate because... Okay. Can't put it back in. So... Just like that. Okay, now there's a broken wing there. You see that? <laughs> okay, and here we go. And now get the new part. <laughs> Alright. Easy enough. Okay. Oh, new. It's a used part actually. Yeah, pre owned. Pre owned. <coughs> Previously loved. <laughs> yeah, that that sticks back in there. Mm -hmm. Just like that. No, you can do this little clip on top of it again. Uh, you can set it on there, but it's gonna fall out and cause a rattle. Oh uh, no. Yeah, we've, uh. we've tried. It doesn't work. Glue it on. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, just do a pull test on it. Uh, should be good to go after that. Um, these used to require firmware. I don't know if they still do. We might have to request a firmware update through your car because I think you can do that now. Oh yeah? Yeah. I think if it says that there's an update required you can uh, go through your settings and get the update. So, three little clips. Lock those guys in. Two tabs on the outside. Yeah, and then the center one didn't lock in. There we go. Three tabs on top. Uh, yeah, three yeah. three clips across the top, and then just make sure the wings are folded in to yeah. the uh, outside here. Yeah. And then line it up on this guy. There is a centering pin that keeps this uh, in the right orientation, so just gotta find that centering oh, pin. Oh, look, look at the, the power is back on. Yep. Yeah. 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 So that's your uh, cruise, cruise yeah. activation. Uh, but yeah, find, find that centering pin, and then you should be able to just push it into place. That should be it. Wow. Just like that. So if you start the car and put the hit, uh, level down, it, it, it should go in, in drive or reverse, right? Yeah. Do you have your keys on you? Yeah, here. here. There we go. Yeah, yeah. The car is on. There you go. 
What is that? Cruise. Drive. We had reverse. What it says? Driver store Driver. open. Yeah, driver store. Uh, driver store open. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, now, if you remember what I was telling you uh, when we were ordering this steering column control module, that yeah. this is a shared piece between Mercedes and Tesla. Yes. Mercedes has his fingers in there. If you see that little mark right there. Oh, there's a Mercedes star. That is a Mercedes, Mercedes part. Mercedes part. <laughs> there's a Mercedes steer in that. My, yeah. my Mercedes in my Tesla. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just like that. All right, steering wheel. <clears throat> Comes back on. In the position. Yep. Just yeah. like that. 10 millimeter oil wrench, back on. If this were getting done at a service center, uh, technically this bolt should get replaced. I don't really see that being an issue. Oh, I never did that, that bolt replacement when I yeah. changed the you know. Yeah. But at the service center they replaced the bolt. It does yeah? say in the service manual that this bolt should get replaced. You still remember all of that? Yeah. Huh? Model S was the only thing I had to work on for a few years. <laughs> <laughs> Took a while for Model X to get there. But the Model X was pretty similar. Model X is very similar. <clears throat> yeah, pretty much most okay. of the dash was the same, except for the front of it. The dash was a little longer on the Model X versus the S. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, same thing. Hold the airbag from the backside. Car is in the off position. Airbag like controller in and steering control in. And just yeah. a quick check on things. We got volume. Yeah. yeah. Didn't mute though. That's alright. We should be good. Yeah, it's all down. Voice control works. Menu button works. And that wheel works. Yeah. Right. Should be good. Just gotta line all those little tabs up again. Okay. And then press it against it, right? Uh -huh. Okay, good. Yeah, it fits. Yep. And at the it risk of waking up the neighbors. It fits even better. And, and the horn works as well. Yeah, horn is good. And the, ah, yeah, the screws are staying in, right? Yes, yeah, the screws are captive, so they do not come out of the steering wheel. Makes them really easy to line back up. Ta-ta! I got a new steering wheel column. Well, I used one. <laughs> <laughs> Can't afford to break that again. <laughs> I used to, most of the time, I used screws, but my wife didn't. Yeah. So. There you go. Ta -ta. Good as new. Okay, good. Hey, thank you very much. Absolutely. Good. Okay, we are done, guys, and you saw it. Uh, professionally installed <laughs> like always right and uh, yeah it was uh, uh, pretty quick right so you said two tools right and, and yep. allen wrench 10 millimeter and uh, a t, t, t30 right t30, t30. yeah that's it and then uh, to uh, remove the clips you got some tips for that and uh, got some things what uh, general instructions say from tesla mm -hmm. yeah that's good and uh, we say thumbs up uh, subscribe to the channel and for then talk to you next time or see another repair video for the next time.